little salute now. Keelan Russell, a lot of you guys know the Colorado Buffs had got waived it. You know, um, C Coach Pat Shermer paid this young man a visit. This is a commit right now, current commit to Alabama. You guys know after the big game that he had last night, um, he responded in regards of will he be visiting Colorado, things of that sort. I'm going to give you guys pretty much his answer and kind of sort of where he at with things either way. You wish this young man well on his journey, but it don't seem like Colorado Buffs is somewhere that he's paying attention to at the moment. And we're going to pack everything right here now. First and foremost, if you guys are new to the channel and love the direction of the Colorado Buffs, they still have Juju on their radar. Amongst some other guys, one thing about Coach Prime, he's going to hit the portal regardless. And he like veteran guys, but, you know, we are in an era where, you know, he is getting a lot of those high schoolers as well, and he's trying to build young as well as have some seasoned guys as well. Either way, you know, the Colorado Buffs don't have to worry about a quarterback after Shador Sanders. That's one thing I think that they will have an elite one, whether it's out of high school or an elite guy out of the portal. Either way, you guys can see. As pertaining this young man right here in Key Line, it looks like he's still locked in with Alabama as they asked him, you know, pretty much what's the chance, any chance that he's going to be going to Colorado or visiting Colorado, just paraphrasing. And he said, nah. So he left it at that, and at the end of the day, you guys know um, Coach Prime and the Colorado Buffs did, you know, reportedly had their eyes on this young man as well because, I mean, Juju haven't committed yet. I mean, he haven't flipped yet. It looked like he's still focused on USC at the moment. He still has an opportunity to flip. It could potentially flip to Colorado, but you got to keep your options open. I understand the Colorado Buffs still swinging at these type of top guys. And, you know, one thing about the Colorado Buffs, anytime your name is attached to them, guys are going to ask about your school, you know, ask you about Colorado and that, you know, things of that sort and you guys can see this young man let it be known nah he pretty much ain't going to visit Colorado I personally feel like he should have left the door open even if it's not for this season you don't know when you go to Alabama things might not go as planned and Colorado could still be an option for you maybe in the future things of that sort you never know how the what the future holds so you kind of leave all doors open saying nah like that maybe make the Colorado Buffs not look his way as much anymore but either way you guys can see that's what he had to say i want to know what you guys think in the comment section below hey man if you're a colorado buff fan one thing i do is trust in prime and i know that at the shador with the, you know with the, with the quarterback coach he had and how many great young quarterbacks that he had the relationship with coach prime coach prime and the colorado buffs are having an elite quarterback in my opinion at the shador either way even if it's out the portal or if it's a high school guy however it comes coach prime and the colorado buffs going to continue and be a good hands in my opinion y'all like comment subscribe get in the comment section below let me know what y'all think about key line or what he had to say i'm gonna read you guys got to say in the comment section below. Thank you so much.